हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल अनफॉक विद डॉक्टर धर परवीन इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू गिव अ वेरी गुड रिवीजन फॉर मीन मीडियन एंड मोड इन स्टैटिस्टिक्स इन स्टैटिस्टिक्स बेस्ड ऑन कर्नाटका टीईटी एचएसटीआर एंड क्राइस्ट सिलेबस एक्चुअली दिस इज द थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स इन माई लास्ट टू लेक्चर्स आई हैव डन स्टैटिस्टिक्स class interval and types and graphical representation and measurement of central tendency in measurement of central tendency we have this mode median and mean mean median and mode we have these three terms in measurement of central tendency i have explained everything about mean median and mode with examples in a previous two lectures actually in in the third lecture i thought of finishing the syllabus by doing dispersion measures and coefficient of variation and uh, finishing the syllabus of statistics but then during this time i found one very very good worksheet based on this mean median and mode first i thought that i'll put that worksheet in telegram channel and i will ask you all to solve it but then somehow my conscience did not agree that's why i am making this revision lecture where i will solve this worksheet of mean median and mode believe me it is a very very good worksheet and each and every question which i am going to solve in this lecture is very important from the point of view of hstr cris and of course karnataka tet also okay see what would happen if i put it in the telegram channel you all uh, may solve the worksheet but then you may have many doubts at that time many doubts may have been created some questions you would feel that it is tough but then again i cannot uh, clear your doubts right for each and every one it is not possible for me to clear the doubts in telegram group right that's why i am solving this worksheet for you all okay this worksheet i will solve uh, if you want i can give you another worksheet in the telegram channel okay or no need actually i am doing more than enough examples based on this even in our first and second lecture of statistics also i have solved many numericals i think this worksheet is enough for you all it will give you a very thorough revision for mean median and mode because at least two questions i am expecting from mean median and mode in karnataka tet and hstr okay every time they ask questions from this right so we will not take risk and we will solve this worksheet in this lecture now before starting to solve the worksheet i want to remind you all to watch the previous two lectures of statistics if you have not watched the two lectures of statistics then please don't attend this class okay this is a revision of those two lectures okay friends so let us start then first question is the mean of first 10 natural numbers is we have to find the mean of first 10 natural numbers now we know what is mean right in our first lecture of statistics only we learned what is mean it is sum of all values of observations of observations divided by number of observations number of observations so this is mean correct now what are the first 10 natural numbers first we should know it right then only we can find the mean of those 10 natural numbers what are they it will start from 1 okay 1 2 3 4 they will go up till 10 these are the first 10 natural numbers now to find the mean what we have to do we have to take sum of these numbers all numbers 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 divided by number of observations what are the number of observations 10 numbers are there right so in the denominator you will write 10 now if you add all these natural numbers no 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 you will get 55 55 divided by 10 this will be 5.5 so this will be your mean so option c will be the right answer the mean of first 10 natural numbers will be 55 okay next question if mean of 
फोर सिक्स एट टेन एक्स फोर्टीन कमा सिक्सटीन इज टेन देन द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज सेम फॉर्मुला यू कैन यूज हियर ऑल्सो मीन इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ ऑल वैल्यूज ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन डिवाइडेड बाय नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन सो वॉट आर द All values of observations here we have to add. It is four plus six plus eight plus ten plus x plus fourteen plus sixteen divided by number of observations. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven will be there in the denominator. And this is equal to mean, right? What is the value of mean here? They are given ten. So mean will be ten. Or if I add everything in the numerator, I will get fifty-eight plus x is a variable. I cannot add it. Divided by seven is equal to ten. Or fifty-eight plus x is equal to seventy. Or x is equal to seventy minus fifty-eight. Or x will be equal to twelve. So option B will be the right answer. Okay. So this is how you can find the mean of the numbers. or using the mean of the numbers you can find the missing number from the given data next question question number 3 the mean of x comma x plus 1 comma x plus 2 comma x plus 3 comma x plus 4 comma x plus 5 and x plus 6 is so mean is equal to sum of the observations what are they x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 plus x plus 3 plus x plus four plus x plus five plus x plus six. So much are there. So many observations are there. Divided by how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you will have seven in the denominator. So here seven x are there, right? Seven x plus one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six. It will be around six. Six plus four will be ten. Ten plus five will be fifteen. Plus six will be twenty-one. It will be twenty-one, and you will have seven in the denominator. Here you can take seven common, right? If you take seven common, it will be three here. Seven three size twenty-one divided by seven. Seven seven will get cancer, and mean will be equal to x plus three. So option B will be the right answer. Okay. Uh, moving on. Next question. Till now we found mean, right? Now in this question we have to find the median. The median of two, three, two, five, six, nine, ten, twelve, sixteen, eighteen, and twenty is. So to find the median, if you have attended my last class, you will know. If the number of observations are even, there is one formula. If the number of observations are odd, there is another formula. Let us see whether these observations are odd or even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So number of observations are eleven, and they are odd. So the formula to find the median for odd number of observations is half into n plus one. Now this will be n, right? So half into eleven plus one will be equal to half into twelve or six. So sixth term will be the median. So One, two, three, four, five, six. So this will be the median. Median will be nine, sixth term. Okay. So this is the sixth term, which is equal to nine. So option A will be the right answer. Okay. Moving on. Question number five. The median of two, three, six, zero, one, four, eight, two, five is. See, if you have attended my last class, you must remember that we had three steps, right? The first step to find median was that the series should be in ascending order. In previous sum, the series was in ascending order, correct? That's why we did not change the order here because after two, three, two means already it is there here. Five was there, correct? So it was already in ascending order, so we did not bother. But here the series is not there in ascending order. Two, three, six, zero, one, four, eight, two, five. There is no order only. So we have to write the series first in ascending order. Means from smaller number to bigger number we have to write. Then we will see whether the uh, number of observations or order even. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number of observations are nine, which is odd. So we will use that formula half into n plus one. Correct? If it was even, by chance, if it was even, means number of observations were even, then you would take the sum of the middle two numbers and divide it by two. Means we would find the average of the middle two numbers in the given statistical data. That would be our median. Okay. Now we will see this. First we will change this order into ascending order. How we will write it? 0, 1, 2. Then again 2 is there. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then 8. So whether we are getting 9? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, we are getting 9. Now we find the median. Median is equal to half into n is 9, right? So, we will write 9 here in place of n plus 1. So, it will be half into 10 or 2 ones are 2 fives are. Fifth term will be the median. Fifth term of this series, not this series. Fifth term of the ascending order. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, median will be 3. Correct? Fifth term is the 3. So, option B will be the right answer. Okay? So, I hope you are feeling happy now because this was a very, very good revision for median, right? So, in that previous class of median and mode, I did few numericals but they were typical. I did not do any repeated or tricky numericals. So, this worksheet will give you a good idea and good explanation and good practice for all the three uh, measures of central tendencies, mean, median and mode. Okay, moving on next question. Question number 6. We have to find the mode. 1, 0, 2, 2, 3, 1, 4, 5, 1, 0. Uh, but they have given just x i is there. That too also repeated numbers are there. In mode, remember, no repeated number should be there. When we make the frequency distribution table, no repeated numbers. That repeated numbers will contribute to the number of frequency. Okay. Let us make this uh, table, then we will understand. This is xi, this is f, fi. Okay. We will start from 0. 0. How many zeros are there here? 1, 2. 2 zeros are there. Then 1. How many 1s are there? 3. Next 2. How many 2s are there? 2. Then 3. How many 3s are there? Just 1, 3 is there. So 1. Next 4. 4 will be, I think, 1 time only. 1. Then 5 also, 1. Okay, so here we will not repeat the numbers and we will write them in ascending order. This is the procedure to find the mode. Now what is mode? Mode is the corresponding xi for the maximum frequency. That is only mode, right? Which is the maximum frequency here? 3 is the maximum frequency. What is the corresponding xi? It is 1. So your mode will be 1. That's all. Option C will be the right answer. Okay. Next question number 7. If mode of 2, 3, 5, 4, 2, 6, 3, 5, 5, 2 and X is 2. Then the value of X is. For this also we will have to write the frequency table. Xi. Then Fi. Then uh, we will not repeat the numbers and we will write them in ascending order. Right. So 2. How many times it is there? 3 times. Then 3. Then how many times it is there? 2 times. 4. It is 1 times. 5. It is 3 times. 3 times, right? 1, 2, 3. Uh, 3 times. Then 6. It is only 1 time. Then x. This is also 1 time. So this is our frequency table, right? So in this frequency table, we have to find the value of x. Correct? But mode is 2 they have given. Now if the mode will become 2, then the frequency should be maximum, right? So, the maximum frequency is for 2 and for 5. But mode is 2. That means this x should be 2. Then only that frequency will become 4 for 2. And maximum frequency will be the mode, right? So, the mode should be 2. I hope you understood. I will write it again if you want. See, xi, fi. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I will write x here. Just to explain you. 
2 came 3 times already. X 1 time it is there. 3 2 times it is there. 4 1 times and 5 is 3 times and 6 is 1 time. Correct? Now mode they have given that it is 2. That means for the corresponding maximum frequency only what is the value of Xi? That is only mode, right? Now maximum frequency is for 2 and for 5. But 5 is already there here, right? Uh, but mode is 2, right? So this should be 2 then the frequency will be 4 means here the maximum frequency is 4 for the corresponding maximum frequency mode is 2 correct i hope you understood now so option a 2 is the right answer see if you are not understanding that means that you have not attended the second lecture of statistics i will give the link in the description for first lecture and second lecture please go and watch then only you have to attend this class okay okay moving on Next question number 8. Question number 8 is the modal class of the following distribution is modal class means they want you to find the mode. But here xi is not given in place of xi they are given class interval. Means you find the corresponding class interval for the maximum frequency. Correct? Modal class means it is the same like mode. But we told mode if the deviations were given, if xi was given. Modal class will be for class intervals. That's all. Maximum frequency will correspond to modal class intervals. Which is the maximum frequency here in 4, 7, 12, 8 and 2. Maximum is 12, right? So what is the corresponding class interval? 20 to 25. So option B. This will be the modal class. That's all. This is the right answer. Okay. Next question number 9. A teacher asks the students to find the average marks obtained by the class students in maths. The student will find what? Whether he will find mean, mode, median or sum. Of course, he will find mean because mean is sum of the observations divided by number of the observations. Means it is nothing but calculating the average. Correct? That average only the teacher is asking the students to find, right? So, mean will be the right answer for this question. Next question number 10. The empirical relationship between the three measures of central tendency is. Remember what is the empirical relationship we told? It should be 3 median is equal to mode plus 2 median. So, option B will be the right answer. This is the empirical formula. Direct formula they have asked in this question but usually in the exam they will ask you twisted how they will ask they will ask like this mode will be equal to 3 median minus 2 mean or something like that okay with the arithmetic operations jumbled they will ask you one question you should be ready if you will be perfect with this empirical relationship then you can rearrange them and write okay so option b will be the right answer next question number 11 class mark of class 19.5 to 29.5 is they are asking you class mark remember class mark or xi how you find class mark actually in uh, last before the first statistic statistics lecture i solved uh, how to find the class mark i showed how you do it you do it with the upper limit plus lower limit by 2. This is your class mark. If you add, you will get 49 by 2. So, your answer will be 2 2 is a 4, 2 4 is a 8, point, 2 5 is a 10, 24.5. Option C will be the right answer. Okay. It is upper limit plus lower limit by 2. This will be your class mark. Means basically, you are finding the midpoint of this given class interval. Okay. That is your class mark. Okay. Uh, question number 12. Measure of central tendency is represented by the abscissa of the point where the less than or give and more than or give intersect is. Actually, you had a graphical representation in your uh, syllabus. In that, I only showed you types of graphs. I did not show you how to plot the graphs. Because in MCQs, they cannot ask anything related to graphs. They cannot ask you to plot the graph, right? So, I didn't want to waste your time. That's why I didn't show. But then, it is important for us to know the definition. That's why I will show it to you now. Actually, 
this is how you can find the median using the graph this is this type of graph it is known as augue okay this type of graph is known as augue if you draw two graphs like this okay that graphs if they intersect at one point that point you draw till x axis x axis is also known as abscissa okay y axis is also known as ordinate ordinate axis okay so if you draw these two augues and where this augues will intersect you draw one line to the x axis that point will give you the median okay that point will give you the median so now you can answer this question the measure of central tendency is represented by abscissa means x axis of the point where less than augue and more than augue will intersect so option b median will be the correct answer okay less than augue means the value of the augue will be less more than augue or greater than augue means the value will be more okay this is a lesser number this is a greater number when they intersect you draw that line to the x axis or abscissa and you find the median okay this concept i didn't explain because it is not needed i thought anyway because we got a question i am giving you idea for this question also i am giving you a good explanation so that you'll remember by chance if they ask very less chance are there still if they ask you can give the answer for this question okay moving on next question now the question is the median class of the following distribution is now till now we had frequency distribution with xi and fi right in place of xi they have given you class interval that's all you can make a frequency distribution table you can find summation fi then you can write the cumulative frequency correct you remember the procedure to find the median anyway i will solve it you understand now uh, the class intervals and then the frequency fi and then the cumulative frequency class intervals are 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 then 30 to 40 40 to 50 50 to 60 then 60 to 70 correct then fi they have given 4 4 8 10 12 8 and 4 now what will be summation fi summation fi will be um, 50 it will be 50 then uh, how you find the cumulative frequency you write 4 as it is first then you add 4 plus 4 it will be 8 then you add 8 plus 4 what will 8 plus 4 be it will be 16 then you add uh, 16 plus 8 plus 4 that is how you find cumulative frequency right then you get 26 then again you add 26 with uh, all these three numbers then you get uh, 38 then you get 46 and then you get 50 correct last number will be same as summation fi this is your cumulative frequency now you find uh, summation fi by 2 summation fi by 2 is 50 by 2 this will give us 25 now what will be the median median will be the number corresponding to the cumulative frequency which is just greater than 25 what is just greater than 25 here it is 26 right so what is the corresponding uh, uh, number or the class interval as per this question to the uh, this uh, cumulative frequency which is just greater than 25 it is 30 to 40 correct so option c will be the right answer see if you are attending the class this class for the first time then you will not understand friends please go and watch the second lecture then only you will understand the procedure to solve median okay moving on question number 14 the question is the mean of 20 numbers is 17 if 3 is added to each number then the new mean is this is very interesting question see what is mean we know that mean is equal to sum of the observations how many observations are there 20 observations are there so sum of 20 numbers divided by number of observations how many observations are there 20 observations are there correct 
Now this is equal to 17 itself. So this will be equal to 17 or sum of 20 numbers is equal to 17 into 20 or this will be equal to 340. Now they are telling if 3 is added to each number then the new mean is means if you add 3 to each number what will happen you will have to write like this right it will become 3 times 20 because you are adding 3 to each number means 3 times 20 plus the sum of 20 numbers it is 340 correct so this will give you 60 plus 340 or this will be 400. Now I have to find the mean for this 400. Because see, if I make this equation as 1, from equation 1, now I have to find mean, right? Sum of 20 numbers, what I got? Sum of 20 numbers, I got 400 divided by 20. Now I will not write 17 because this is new mean, right? This is new mean which I am finding. This will be equal to 2 2 is a 4 20 0 0 will get cancelled so 20 will be the right answer so new mean will be 20 option a will be the right answer okay if you are not understanding please pause the video and write by yourself and see then you will understand this sum okay we have done nothing with the old mean we have calculated sum of 20 numbers using that value we have calculated the new mean that's all okay moving on next question number 15 the mean of 5 numbers is 18 if one number is excluded, then their mean is 16. Then the excluded number is. The question is, they have given the mean which is 18. That mean is for 5 numbers. Again, one number they have removed. Excluded means they have removed. Then their mean becomes 16. You have to find this excluded number. What is that number you have to find? This is very simple. Because we have this formula, right? Using this formula only we can find See, sum of 5 numbers upon 5 will be mean, right? But what is that mean? It is 18, correct? So, with this, sum of 5 numbers will become 18 into 5, correct? So, 18 into 5 is 90. So, this will be 90. In the same manner, you can find sum of 4 numbers because 1 number is excluded right sum of 4 numbers what is that that will be 16 because they have given if they have excluded 1 number mean became 16 right into 4 why because here you had 4 correct sum of 4 numbers by 4 that 4 will go here correct uh, then this will become 64 let this be 1 and let this be 2 now you have sum of 5 numbers and you have sum of 4 numbers. You have to subtract that. Then you will get the excluded number. Correct? So excluded number is equal to. Okay. 1 minus 2. 90 minus 64. That will give you 26. So this was the excluded number. So option D is the right answer. Okay. This type of question I am uh, expecting in uh, HSTR. Okay, and this type of question I am expecting in Karnataka TET. So, Karnataka TET and HSTR aspirants, stay tuned and practice. Okay, I am damn sure that question can come from this worksheet only in your exam. You never know, it could be surprising, but you never know. Even with the same numbers, you may get one, one question in the exam. Okay, now question number 16 the mean of first five prime numbers is now what are prime numbers? Prime numbers are those numbers which don't come in any table, right? See, I have made one class on a number system. I will give the link in the description. You please go and watch that lecture also. You will understand everything about numbers in this class, okay? So, in that class, I have explained about prime numbers also. So, prime numbers are those numbers which do not come in any table. Now, what are the first five prime numbers? They should be 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. These are the numbers which do not come in the uh, in any table and these are the first 5 numbers, right? Now you have to find the mean. It is very simple, right? You do the sum of the observations divided by number of the observations. How many are there? 5, right? 
so this will give you 28 by 5 or this is equal to 5 5 is a 25.6 5.6 will be the right answer so option b will be the right answer okay next question the sum of deviations of the values 3 4 6 8 14 from their mean is uh, now this is an interesting question you have to find the sum of deviations remember what was the deviation deviation is equal to xi minus mean that mean we denoted it by capital a or small a remember uh, yes very nice if you are remembering so let us make a table first what is the given xi 3 4 6 8 14 and what is this uh, deviation how you find it xi minus mean right now what is the mean the mean will be mean will be 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 14 divided by 1 2 3 4 5 5 so this will give us 35 by 5 or 7 so this will be our mean now every time i have to subtract minus 7 now then i will get this deviation del correct so it will be minus 4 minus 3 minus 1 1 then 7 correct now you find the summation del so this del will be equal to 4 minus 3 minus 1 plus 1 plus 7 this will give us 0 so the right answer is option a 0 but without doing this also you can just say that the answer is 0 because how can there be any deviation from the mean you have on the list of numbers will there will be any deviation with the numbers from the mean they will not change right so there will be no deviations at, the, at all when there are no deviations then sum of deviations is also zero right when deviation is only zero then sum of deviation will also be zero right still if it did not click in your mind anyway you can do this procedure and find the answer okay next question number i think 18 yes the question is if median is 15 and mean is 16 then mode is of course we have our formula right we have to find the mode what is the empirical formula if I directly want to find the mode then it is 3 into median minus 2 into mean I am directly writing I am twisting and turning with the arithmetic things I am changing the order and I am directly writing the formula for mode it is 3 times median minus 2 times mean correct so this will be equal to 3 into 15 minus 2 into 16 or this will be equal to 45 minus 32 or 13 will be the right answer option d will be the right answer okay okay friends this was the last sum for this lecture now before uh, signing off from this lecture i want to remind you all that i have already made uh, statistics part 1 and part 2 lectures it is a must watch please watch statistics part 1 and part 2 lectures the link of those lectures will be given in the description so in the next lecture i will finish that uh, dispersion measures and i think variance is also there i'll finish statistics okay friends uh, please do like share and subscribe to my channel and uh, also if you have any queries or any feedback you can write me in the comment section or you can join the telegram channel we have a group also there where we keep on discussing things about hstr and karnataka tet i'll give you the link in the description okay Thank you. All the best. Bye.